Hello my succulent friends, it's me, Suze. So I'm sitting in my uh, favourite chair and I haven't really shown you this table. Um, so I've got two round glass tables and uh, this is sort of my sad corner. This is my, I put them here so I can sort of look at them more frequently. Um, these were inside and they were stretching for light. So you can see they're sort of angling in that direction. Um, I don't know their names offhand. They're not succulents, but they're like succulents. Anyway, but uh, the reason why I turned the camera on is this here. My dog's behind me chewing on a dog bone, a dog biscuit. It's like those crunchy noises as him having each Sunday morning snack. This is my chroma and I've only had it looking nice once. Pretty much when I got it, uh, the colour developed and it got this really lovely yellow marking on it. Um, I have head chopped it um, and this is how I've been able to get more heads but it's never looked nice. I've never been able to give it the right lighting conditions. Um, so I've had it here but this is starting to show some development so I'm suspecting it might be a winter grower um, so that's caught my attention I'm just keep an eye on it in the um, following weeks months and uh, hopefully it will really start to um, come into its glory I know some of you have them and uh, I know that they look a lot better than mine <laughs> and if you don't have one try and get your hands on one because uh, or, or, or even just google it because the colors it gets this gold color to it it's just phenomenal yeah this is uh i guess this is uh euphorbia i think it's um lipstick it gets really hot pink flowers but it looks very sad. It's, um, I've had it for years and it's been in here for years. So it's never really done much. So that's another one I'm not very good at. But it's probably not too healthy. Maybe if I repotted it, it might uh, appreciate a little love. But I haven't got there yet. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. I've got my trusty brush here. This is always, I always have a few handier different locations to brush out. Um, any mealies if I see some starting. So, I don't know, what are those, pebbles of some sort? This looks very sad. Got a little bit of tiny little stuff happening. You know, I bought this uh, from my supplier friend years ago before they became trendy and um, with ridiculous uh, prices and um, I put it in my um, front garden arrangement. It was around the same time I was landscaping, so I, you know, I just threw everything in there, and um, it actually re did really good. It was really happy there, um, but it was getting sort of lost. It sort of grew really tall. It got lost with other succulents around it. So I took it out, and I brought it out to the back and repotted it, and it, and I kept it in the shade house. And it never really decided to love me much after that. So I did a, a, a head chop and took out the bigger pieces, trying my best to try and propagate it. But I just don't think it's just happy. And so I'm not ho holding my breath. But I am really cranky about what's happening about prices for stuff like this. Um, like hundreds of dollars? Come on, people. I mean, I... Obviously, they're slow growing because this is, this is struggling for me. But I just don't think this is a very healthy plant. And I think in general, I'm sure they do fine. Like, like, it's just greedy. I don't know. I refuse, absolutely refuse to give in to these price gouging for trendiness. It's just, it's just not cool. Succulents should be enjoyed, um, not hoarded. If you know what I mean. Anyway, enough for that rant for today. This one's been a bloody pain in the ass. I'll tell you what, I get it good one season, then not something happens, etc. I'll sort of go around in a little cycle with it. So that's its name there. Looks like a Japanese name. 
that's a Y at the start, the tag's a bit dirty. Ugh. So yeah, every time I get on top of the mealies and then I forget about it and I come back and they're back. It doesn't matter about the systemics, I don't know. I mean it works for a while, maybe I'm just not uh, staying on top of it. It's not just the mealies, it's like very fussy about light too. Let's see, it looks like it's, it's happening again in the center. It's very annoying. It's not too bad though. Anyway, it's quite a pretty one when it's on point. It's probably the best I've had in a while to be honest, probably because I'm watching it more closely now. This is yet sweet though, gotta love that. I would assume with a name like this it's a hybrid and I'm starting to suspect hybrids are more sensitive in general and more prone to mealies. Yes, oh that's right, I was just writing a comment back about uh, Romeo's. Have I mentioned this before? I think I heard it on that Johnny channel with James. Succulents Australia that I think they said Koreans call the um, the Romeo sudden death because it's just prone to just die all of a sudden and that happened to one of mine admittedly I had an arrangement that was just far too crowded and it was um, it was humid at that particular time rain and hot and I, I think it, they're prone to uh, humidity and they do that. So don't get disheartened if that happens to you because obviously the name's um, there for a reason. But I think hybrids in general, some of them are just more fickle. Isn't this sweet? This came from my friend Nick. She has a little um, Facebook uh, page called Nick succulents. She gave this to me a long time ago. It was really small and uh, it wasn't rooted and it took me ages for it to just root and grow. Another fickle one are the variegated. They just, you know, they take their time. They're not fast growers. This tag's just sort of confusing the colors but look what's happening. Isn't that sweet? So thank you Nick. That was really sweet of you. Um, another thing she gave me was some ver uh, variegated supreme leaves to propagate and again it took forever but it's finally happened. So I've got three little bubbies there. Grow my babies, grow. She gave me some other stuff too, they're in different places but these ones are quite special. Um, there's another one here. Hawthia. This is a ghost. Hawthia ghost I'm pretty sure. It's one of my first ones I got. Again it's another fussy one. I get it going good then then it just seems to uh, die back a bit and etc. But um, I do love these long tips and I like how they're kind of wispy you know they're kind of they're not does that make sense? Do you like, <laughs> do you like how I explain that? Um, but it does have a little bubby on the side which is absolutely adorable. And uh, above me, that's my kitchen window, um, I have some chain of hearts variegated. Again another one, sometimes they just look really plump and healthy and other times they look whittly and ugh. It's flowering now which is sweet. It's always sweet. Anyway, this is one of my very first pots that I've had. It's broken. I taped it together. <laughs> I fell once. He's lost his little antenna. What, are they antennas? Is that what snails have? But, um, and then there's this very sad little aeonium in here. What is that? Uh, yeah, maybe as winter approaches it might do a bit better. Um, oh, got this in Thailand a long time ago. 
Um, and I have a few leaves um, just hanging out here my trusty brush to as I mentioned before. I wanted to show you quickly on this table as well. These are some new ones I got. So this uh, Aeonium, I remember it was five dollars, firecracker. It looked, um, it was really dry and you know uh, closed in like it was dormant but it's starting to open up and um, I'm delighted with that. This one's settling in well. I love these little pink tips. It still feels a little bit delicate at the moment. Like it's really just still trying to establish itself. And this little variegated, and we'll come around, um, came out of the same purchase as that firecracker from um, Greenland, Greenland Gardens. That was only $5 too. So that's settling in nicely. My um, my Debbie here is um doing some nice things now. Uh, I cut center points out, so this is coming out, and there's a few new growths, center growths happening. So that's that's good. That's um that's in, heading in the right direction. I've seen that a million times. Oh, um, what are they? What are they? What are and then they? These ones down here, these agravoides, what are they called? JC Van Keppel, I think. They grow in these adorable little clusters. This got this got the mealies as well. This is such a tight little cluster. It's very fickle, this one. Um, anyway, we've got some new heads growing, so I'm happy about that. Just quickly, I'm in the shade house. Here are my other... Van Keppels. These two probably look the best. This happens a lot. Um, so I actually sold a few but um, I don't think I want to sell them anymore. I want to keep them. Um, I sold a few to, to, to my friends. Oh, actually I have some more over here. Um, to, to my friends. Jody and uh, Dale, they're a part of that crew, that Facebook crew I was talking about. Um, and dear Frances, I love you Frances, you're such a beautiful soul. She wants to buy one, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to sell them yet. I don't know, I can't. Um, I think they're just really special. But yeah, they are prone to mealies, like I had an inspection maybe about two weeks ago on these. Yeah, I don't know. You've got to really get in there like that could, I can't point to it properly. I think you might be able to spot what I'm trying to point at. Um, they get right inside the leaves and you really got to get in there and have a good look. That's part of the reason why I don't want to sell them because, um, you know, in case they got mealies, that's, that's, a no, that's no good. And, uh, yeah, but no, because I love them so much too. Um, and I'm sure you do too now. They're just adorable. But uh, they're not cheap either. Um, the reason why I have them is because of my friend. Um, my, my good, good supplier friend, he has them. And, uh, well, not all the time, but I did buy these from him. And they've grown a lot since when I got them from him. So that's another reason why I'm, I'm finding it hard to give them up because um, I've put a lot of effort into them. But this is a good example of two of these mealies in there. Which I could probably just clean clean it out. But because they're so compact, I can spare a leaf or two. But you can find them better if you get rid of the leaf. Oh, I can't do it properly one-handed. There, see? And there we go. You little effer. Hang on, I have a bin behind me. No. See, lucky I've come over to talk about it more. Alright, I'm pulling that over to the, to, to the, to the table. I should check all of these again. 
Oh, it's never ending, is it? So I can hear some of you asking. I can imagine you saying, well, don't you use systemics? How come you're still getting them? Well, I think it's because the last time I treated them was probably um, with the systemics. Was at the start of summer, so that's, you know, uh, a couple of months ago. And then I just sort of... Um, um, I've just sort of been brushing them out. Maybe I didn't put a high enough dosage in it. Maybe it's just worn out. Um, but they, they're due, it's due for more. But all in all, it's not like um, they've been affected really badly, these ones in particular, that one from Neely's. So, um, you know, they, they don't, the systemic doesn't last forever. You do have to keep it up. And the measurements, the measurements are... A little bit um, tricky to understand, so I, I might not have that dialed in enough. Maybe I just didn't put enough in when I did this. Um, little sweetheart here. This is one of those. Um, what are they called? Zaragoza's. Zaragoza's. There, yeah, that's it. But it was. Um, this one was a white Zaragoza. Had that for years too. Tiny little thing. Hedgehogs are doing good, so I'm pleased about. It. So a lot of my recent cuttings are chilling out here. A lot of them probably could get potted up, but I'm thinking I'm going to offer them um, to sell. So maybe not necessary to do. The cool thing about these rags is you can get underneath and you can see which ones are rooting, <laughs> um, which is cool. Anyway, I thought. Uh, before I go, I might just show you the bluebird. I haven't looked at it for a couple of days, so I'm hoping we might get a pleasant surprise of roots underneath here. I doubt it, but let's see. Oh, God. This is tricky. Oh, is that one? Focus it. Look with my own eyes. Oh, maybe. Really nothing. That's about bow. Okay, come on, darling. Come on. It's time. It's time to show your roots. So I'll put it back. And, um, yeah, last thing I'll just show you before I go is uh, I've decided to keep these new pots in this section so remember this from a recent arrangement um, the frilly is looking splendid and um, if you catch the light just right the red looks nearly iridescent doesn't it and uh, with the jelly beans what I have to do is I'll have to rotate the pot every couple of days or frequently so we can get some even growth and uh, that was the other arrangement with the Pat's Pinks um, at, at the base and this fan aloe which incidentally is getting really cute pink tips I've never seen that before so that's that's just uh, sublime but it does look a little dehydrated it's probably because I've re planted it um, so some extra water would probably uh, do well for it but the center looks nice and there's a nice new leaf happening can you see it well wow. well that would make a good picture I'd better take a photo like just like that for Instagram <laughs> my apologies to my Instagram friends I don't hang out there anymore I'm so busy building this channel um, but by far my Instagram for my socials um, has the biggest following. I think I'm close to 9,000 followers now, um, which is really, that just tickles me delightly. It's delightful. Yeah, so sorry about that. But if I can get to 10,000 um, followers on Instagram, new things open up for you. Like you can share hyperlinks and stuff because... Uh, 
Instagram doesn't like you sharing links so uh, to other things such as YouTube because they don't want you to uh, take people up off their platform. So I can only do that when I get to 10,000. So hopefully, hopefully soon. All right, have a good Sunday. Bye for now. Thank you. Oh, and I nearly forgot. I was so glad to hear that quite a few of you agree about the uh, bumpies. Um, that they're funny looking. So good, good. I'm not alone. All right, now I'm really going. Bye. I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also you can find me as S's for Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page where I post daily photos with tips and information so come and hang out with me there. It's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.